The Austin Love Doctor, Episode 005 The Broken Penis, Penile Fractures, Erectile Dysfunction, and Emergency Room Stories This is Dr. Charles Reynolds, inventor of the O-Shot, and thank you for joining Dr. Emily Porter, the Austin Love Doctor, as she openly discusses your most intimate questions regarding relationships, sex, and personal wellness through the eyes of a medical doctor who treats men and women for a variety of sexual issues using the latest medical advancements available. Get comfortable, relax, and welcome your host, Dr. Emily Porter. So I'm Dr. Emily Porter, the Austin Love Doctor, and I practiced emergency medicine for about 12 years. And now I have patients who I know would like to come see me, especially male patients, um, but they're a little bit embarrassed or nervous to talk to somebody about the issues that they're having. And I used to see this all the time in the ER. And it's funny because you're never going to like, they're never going to see me again in the ER. What are the odds that somebody comes in and they have some sort of an issue that they're ever going to see that clerk again, but they don't want to tell the clerk what's wrong. They, they check in and they just say personal problem or male problem, and they don't want to specify what it is, or they don't want to tell the nurse. And then finally, when I would go back, then I would get to the meat of what the problem was, but you're never going to see that person again. So it's, it's just interesting to me that we, we automatically have this sort of shame or embarrassment, even in the medical field with, with people who are trying to help us. And I think sometimes that carries over into the bedroom with our partners. And then that can create a whole other host of, of issues because now we, have some, um, now we have some mental roadblocks to problems, especially happens if men start to get erectile dysfunction. I had one guy that wrote to me and said that he only had, he had erectile dysfunction happen one time where it kind of went soft in the middle and he has no medical reason for it. But now he said, I think it's all psychological, but I have all these problems. I think it's because I'm afraid of that happening again. And he basically wanted a guarantee that that would never happen again. Cause it just, he thought if it happened again, it would, it would just sort of kill, kill his relationship. And I have a lot of men that date women quite a bit younger than them them. So maybe men in their 60s and they're dating 25 year olds or 30 year olds. And part of the problem is just with an age difference is get somebody mature enough to understand and to be compassionate when there's issues. Um, but I, I've seen it all in the ER. You're, you're literally not going to surprise me. I have heard every story. I have seen every sort of object that can be stuck up every orifice possible, sometimes multiple orifices at the same time. Um, drugs are a really common one when, um, police would bring, bring people in. And if you get caught, I don't know, I don't know who just has a butthole that's that wet that they can slide a dime bag up their butt. You know, <laughs> these people that are packing, they must carry some KY with them or something. Cause when the cops come magically, they, they go up their butt or they swallow them. But a lot of times it's both. It's like, up both ends. Right. And then they want, the police want us to do an x-ray to show that it's there. They're called stuffers or mules, what they call it body packing. And the worry is always that the whatever package it's in is going to break. And then it's usually a toxic uh, dose of heroin or something. Um, but I've, I've seen things in men and women. Um, I've seen people stuck together. You know, the whole idea of the, cl- the clitoris ring and the penile ring, probably not a good idea to have those on the same day because they can get linked together. Um, lots of fun stuff. A lot of it's just boring stuff too, but um, anyway. So one of the things that I saw, and people always wonder if this really can happen, is a penis fracture. And it's not super common, but it can happen. And it is really, really not fun when it happens. So you can break your penis. It, it's not a bone. It's actually some sort of spongy tissue and some blood vessels, arteries and veins, and then there's some membranes. And then, of course, you have your urethra, which is where your pee comes out and drains out the hole. Um, But usually what happens, it's almost always either a woman on top and she comes down and she comes down and it kind of bends. Or um, sometimes it's uh, uh, like doggy style and the guy comes all the way out. And then when he goes to put it back in, he misses the hole and he hits the pubic bone or he hits the perineum, the area between the the two holes and it bends or it just, sometimes they'll usually have pain right away. I mean, it's, it, 
you won't hear a crack or anything, but you know that you missed. And um, sometimes you'll get an immediate just bruise. What happens with that or what they also call a hematoma, which is like a really, really big swollen red purple area. And you have this, these, this tissue um, in your penis that is kind of spongy um, called the corpora cavernosa. Those are the two chambers that fill with blood. Um, and then there's one on the bottom where the urethra goes through and that's called the corpora spongiosum. And that all stretches and swells. And so surrounding the corpora cavernosa, the two main kind of erectile chambers, you have a membrane called the tunica albuginea. And it's a really stretchy membrane that surrounds them and it expands and shrinks. So as the, as you get an erection, it kind of, that membrane sort of expands and it allows to accommodate the erection and then it sort of goes down. What happens with a penile fracture is even though there's no, there's no bone, you have a bend in the tissue and then that membrane tears. And now the membrane tears and now kind of the blood can sort of leak out and it's supposed to be contained inside that stretchy membrane. And it's a, it is a real problem. It hurts and it doesn't, almost all of them need surgery. Um, and there's a big healing process. So if that happens, you, it's like one of those rare times that you're going to hear an ER doctor tell you to, you know, probably call an ambulance or go to an ER. It's not something that you'd want to be embarrassed about or wait till tomorrow or um, Google it. If you think your dick is broken, it's broken and you need to come see the doctor like <laughs> right now. And you're going to come to the ER and my only goal is just to say, yep, it's broken and get a urologist in and you're going to unfortunately end up in surgery. Um, so just be careful. Some of the ways you can avoid this happening, again, it's not common, but it, it, when it happens, it's always surgery. Is if I think you can avoid woman on top or doggy style when you're kind of starting to get flaccid. So that's probably not a good second round choice. You know, some people will go and usually the man's erection, the first go round is going to be the better, harder, stronger one. And then if there's an ejaculation and a refractory period, and then you go again, that generally isn't quite as um, firm. That probably would keep those positions to the front, to the first round. Um, get a woman who knows what the hell she's doing and she's not trying to like bounce all over you. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to catch air in order to have that be pleasurable. Um, so have her have control. Um, and then you, same thing, maybe not uh, come all the way out when you're entering from behind. Um, and then if you are having, starting to realize you're starting to lose an erection, that might be a time that you would want to stop and change positions so that you don't put yourself at risk for those. Hope it never happens to you. Um, if it does, throw some ice on it. Find, have your girl cover you up and, and drive you. Or if you really need to call 911, man, I, I, I think I'd be okay with that. I think your insurance company probably would cover that that um that call although then you're gonna end up with a couple more people knowing your story because you got paramedics involved but um hope it never happens if it does so you got my permission take care thank you for joining dr emily porter the austin love doctor if you have a question about your relationship or sexuality please feel free to contact her directly at austinlovedoctor.com <laughs>